All right, well, Glenn, this is your place, and I'm really excited to learn about how we can be more resilient and more self-sustaining with the way we build our homes. Yeah, well, uh, I guess we have to be outlaws to do that. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, inspiration usually comes from alternative sources, and this is just an alternative source, and we really appreciate you sharing. Oh, no problem. Originally, when I first started out, I just had a little 8x8 eight eight section, and then I read more of Mike Ayler's book and found out that I could add on a closet by adding four feet, so I went to the back and I dug some more and I added that on, and then I got some logs that were much longer. Uh, I got actually 33 foot logs, so I thought, well, I don't want to cut them, so I added on a bathroom on that side and porch out on this side, which we just came from. Uh, some of them have the logs going continuously across the house. Well, out the back door. Things are never finished around here and things can be changed, but I have my stairway up there where I started digging the bottom step and I had it in my head how I wanted to do it, so I just continued building steps till I got it in a kind of an S-curve, the way I wanted to go to the top of uh, the original driveway level. Uh, so that's where we count our zero from and uh, down to 16 feet down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Off-grid, wind power, solar power, it's putting in new sections of roof, the front section has a foot of sod on it, you can walk on. Alright, so here we are, uh, the second section after I got done with the studio apartment area, kind of where it's all kind of one level. Um, I decided I wanted to go deeper. I've got four and a half feet deeper here. We're standing at the zero level, so we're minus four and a half below to the floor in the great room. Um, I wanted to get rid of a post in the middle, so I did some bracing from my construction work, and I eliminated the post in the center and divided the extra load and took it down to where the other columns terminated, so it kept me an open space at the bottom, and I did that in two places. Uh, so it's something that Mike doesn't tell you about in his book. So this room's uh, kind of the uh, best description I can give is a hyperbolic paraboloid where the center here is level at 12 feet, that corner is about 8 feet, that corner is about 16 feet roughly to the top, and then this corner is the opposite so everything rotates around the axis in the center there at 12 feet. Uh, I don't know, I just uh, was standing at the top looking down at what I could do with some of the posts I had installed and I thought, hmm, let's do this. Uh, since there were no plans originally, it was easy to do because the plans were just in my head. I don't know about you, but this is the kind of house that I want to build myself and live in. That's amazing. So all that cob work, it all came from right here. Right here, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So that's right out of the ground. That adds straw to it and uh, water, and you've got cob. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, just take whatever you're working with, and uh, you know what I what I say is you need to get intimate with your soil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, you need to know it. You need to know what you what it's composed of, what you can do with it, and a lot of that you find just from experimentation. You know. Um, to start studying a little bit of uh, geology, whatever you need to learn uh, and find out how you can use the resources you have. Absolutely. Well, you've been truly creative with the resources you found on site and you've been able to upcycle and recycle and yeah, reuse. Yeah, recycle, repurpose. that was my thing. It's uh, a 
kind of a protest against having to buy corporate produced products, you know, it's uh, what can we do for ourselves just like our grandparents did and our great grandparents. My great grandparents homesteaded in Oregon and that's kind of the thing I want to get back to is when we don't have so much uh, big brother telling us what we have to do. This is supposed to be a free country. So why don't we get back to that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's our it's our natural rights, you know. That's it's our really right said. to participate in the natural cycles to make affordable homes, to make sustainable things. Yeah, so I think we just need to try and do for ourselves whatever we can. Maybe not make so much noise about it, but uh, uh, take care of ourselves, our families, our friends. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so share much. Yeah, yeah, share the knowledge. My pleasure.